Hey guys, here with Coach Tina to go over your daily workout. Today's warm up is a 10 minute AMRAP. We're gonna start with five reverse lunges on each side, and then we're gonna go to a 10 yard walk on our toes and a 10 yard walk back on our heels. And into 30 seconds of cardio, and then 10 alternating hang, clean, and jerks. So for your reverse lunge, just keep that tall chest, take a step back and then drop that back knee to the ground. And then five each side, and then we're gonna walk on our toes for 10 yards and then we're going to walk back on our heels all right so getting a good stretch and mobilization of our calves and then we're going to get into 30 seconds of cardio so if you wanted to go for a 100 meter run that's fine otherwise any type of high knees jumping jacks butt kickers whatever you can do uh, to stay moving for 30 seconds and then for our alternating hang clean and jerks we're going to take that weight drop to our knee big stand shrug receive it in the shoulder and then press overhead. So you're gonna alternate, you'll do five each side for 10 total reps. Again, cycling through all of that for 10 minutes. The workout today, it's gonna to be five sets, one set every five minutes. So uh, you have five minutes to complete the work. The faster you get it done, the more rest you have, but you're starting back at the top every five minutes, completing five total sets. Each set is gonna be 25 jumping squats, a 200 meter run, or one minute of cardio if running is not an option, and then 10 alternating devil's press. All right, so for jumping squats, nice deep squat, right as you're about to stand, explode through those heels and elevate yourself off the ground. 200 meter run or one minute of cardio, again, you can do jump rope if that works or jumping jacks, any type of movement for a minute. And then we have our 10 alternating devil's press. So we're gonna do our burpee with holding onto that dumbbell, bring the feet in, take the dumbbell between our legs and then drive it overhead in that snatch movement. Alternate each time and then switching hands anywhere below the chin on each rep. Once you're all done with that, we have some accessory work where you're gonna accumulate three minutes in each of these three movements. So your three movements are gonna be a, a plank hold, an active squat and an overhead lockout hold. All right, so for the plank, you can go from the palm or the elbow. So make sure we're keeping that back nice and flat, butt stays down, core is tight. Squeeze your quads, make sure you're breathing, just stay as tight as you can through your whole body in that plank. Active squat, we're just gonna get into the bottom of a squat, below parallel ideally, and then we're gonna hold. So we're not just gonna collapse and sit on our, our ankles, we're gonna stay nice and tight, keeping that back flat, Sending those arms out in front is going to be a great counterbalance to help you hold that position. And then for your active overhead hold, we're just going to take that weight, and press it overhead, and then hold this position here. So set those shoulder blades, press up into that weight a little bit, stay nice and tight. Again, you're accumulating three minutes of these three movements. So you're going to get that three minutes in each one however you want. So whether that's a, a minute each, rotating through three times, whatever works for you, knock it out. All right, have fun, stick around, check out these movements. We'll see you tomorrow.